How does that gearbox look? Well, Ooh. pretty sure it's oil. It feels. Uh, is it oily or is it like baked on? It feels oily. It doesn't. It hasn't become paint. There we go. All right, so here's where the oil sight line used to be. It even melted or blew off or something. Just oil baked onto this cover. Back side. Bearing is still good. Bearing is still good. Okay, the gears are still good, which is kind of a surprise. I kind of thought we would have a teeth broken off of a gear, and jammed into the gears, and that what was stopping the engine from turning. And then, all that's worrying about it, and the gearbox is fine. So this one, maybe the oil pump exploded or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Boom. Valve so, spring. I didn't know that valve springs did that when you bought like kind of good valve springs. I didn't either, so I'm not very happy about that. There we go. This valve had a bad day. I wonder how jacked that cylinder is. Since you're not going to care, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, it looks... I think that's that dead center on that one. Mint. Dude, a little valve relief, fine. <laughs> yeah, I got some, I've made some valve relief on that piston. Valve seat? Probably annihilated. Valve seat. It's a little bit messed up and then the valve guide is also messed up so this is probably fixable but it would have to spend some time and money at a machine shop just uh grab another set of cylinder heads easy since i went with 317 heads exactly the same as what's on there i can just use one head and save myself half the time on reassembling this so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the one with only one broken stud and use that cylinder head because it'll be easier. And we want to get this thing back out there as soon as possible. We'll take a look at these. I've gone through four different sets of Ellis heads so far and all four of them have the exhaust studs, at least one broken off. Now I found it pretty easy to remove the studs, the broken studs, especially ones that stick out like that. These ones that are broken off in there just end up welding a nut onto them. And it takes a few tries, but I've been able to get them every time. Get this all the way disassembled. I'm gonna pressure wash this head, get it all clean. Remove the broken stud out of it. And I'll start reassembling it with the new springs and the new seals. I've got this cylinder head all finished up. Got the head gasket for the cylinder head. So now I'm ready to reassemble this. I do need to remember to replace the valve springs on the other cylinder head so we don't have that same thing happen again. <laughs> 